Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here, and in today's video, we are gonna be doing a little deep dive on the three starter Pokemon of Scarlet and Violet of this Spanish-based Pokemon region. I realized I haven't really discussed them much on the channel besides just my initial reactions. So we're gonna be going over them in detail today, taking a look at what their evolutions might be based on some leaks and some speculation, and just giving my overall thoughts. So let's jump right into things. Across the board, it seems like this is probably one of the most exciting starter Pokemon trio that we've had in quite some time. Seems like the fan base is really happy with all three designs for the most part. Quaxley, Sprigatito, and Fue Coco are the three starter Pokemon for Scarlet and Violet. Two of them look original. The other one is basically a Fennekin clone, but grass type, but I digress. And I'm really excited about all three. Originally, when we first saw the original trailer for Scarlet and Violet, I was definitely Team Quaxley all the way. And I still am, although I am very keen to see what the evolutions for these Pokemon look like. But Fuecoco is the one that's grown on me the most. Not only do I love a lot of the inspiration behind its design, it's it's food-esque design, it's dragon or crocodile looking design. All of those combinations are really appealing to me. I think in the end, it could ultimately have the best final design of all three. So it's probably my number two, but Quaxley is still safely my number one. I just hope it evolves into a big duck. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm very hopeful for that. I would love to have that on my team. Generally, when I play through Pokemon games, I go with the water type st uh, starter, Mudkip, Piplup, Oshawott, I went with all of those. I did switch it up in generation six and went with the fire type, but usually it's the water type Pokemon that I stick with. So Quaxley is definitely my pick. And I'm gonna be curious to see when they actually give us these evolutions. There have been a lot of leaks as there have been for pretty much everything for these games over the last couple months, talking about what their final forms will evolve into. Sprigatito specifically has gotten a lot of interest from the community because it's a cat Pokemon, a starter on all fours. Generally, when a Pokemon like a starter starts off with four legs, it doesn't last. <laughs> you can look at Pokemon like Fennekin that eventually evolved into Delphox and went on to the community seems to be hoping that they finally switch it up and go with a, a cat that is on all fours for Sprigatito's final evolution, and I agree with them for the most part. Sprigatito is probably my least favorite of the three starters. It is a very simple design. It gives me Fennekin vibes, as I mentioned before. It's a cat grass type. There's nothing crazy about it. They could definitely do more in its evolutions to make me more interested, but it's fine. It's nothing special. Fuecoco and Quax Quaxley are definitely where I think the designs shine. One of the things they did a really good job in in the trailer was give these Pokemon personality. It's something that they've done over the last couple generations, which is when they do the reveal trailer for the new games, they give a separate 3D animated part of the trailer that isn't gameplay footage, showing off the personalities of the Pokemon. They did it in the Galar region with Sword and Shield for their starter Pokemon, and they've done it again, and it seems like the trio is a real standout. Hopefully their middle evolutions aren't forgetful as most starter Pokemon are because that's something that I feel the last couple gens have actually done really well. Some of the more recent starter Pokemon have had really good middle stage evolutions. One that I would highlight is Grookey's middle stage from Pokemon Sword and Shield, Thwacky. Uh, I did a tier list of my favorite starter designs, my favorite Pokemon designs, excuse me, from Sword and Shield a couple years back now. And Thwacky was on my top five designs period for the generation. I think they did a great job with the middle stages in Sword and Shield, and hopefully they continue that trend with Scarlet and Violet. A lot of the leaks that have come out uh, have basically said that the trio is going to evolve as we imagine. There was a leak for Fuecoco a couple months back. A design actually came out, showed it as a massive dragon crocodile looking creature. And for a little bit, some people thought maybe it was a leak, but turns out it was just a fan design. The person who designed it came forward and said it was his. There's a lot of really good stuff here. I'm really excited about all three of them. Now, before going any further, I just wanted to mention that the vast majority of you guys who are watching these videos and hopefully enjoying them aren't subscribed to the channel now, of course. Subscribing is free and you can unsubscribe anytime. And if you do subscribe, be sure to turn that notification bell on so you never miss another upload. 
Check out the join tab, see if the perks interest you, and if you want to go the extra mile in supporting me, that is always greatly appreciated. I think one of the most interesting pieces of speculation we can do about this trio of starter Pokemon is how they will eventually fit into the gimmick of the generation. If you go back to Sword and Shield, they all got Gigantamax forms eventually in the DLC, which added new designs for each of their final evolutions in battle, and they were really cool, they were really inventive and utilized the sport theme of the region. So taking the theme of the region, Region, which seems to be the past and the future, time travel of some sort, combining them with what their final evolutions are going to be, and then also taking heed as to what the gimmick is going to be, will be very interesting. If we're taking these ideas of the past and the present, maybe their final evolutions are going to resemble creatures from the past and creatures from the present and the future. Maybe Foycoco is the past, the dinosaur, crocodile, ancient looking creature. Quaxley is some sort of representation of the future with its final evolution, and Sprigatito, a cat, could possibly be something to do with the present. There's a variety of things they could do with this theming, and what those forms will eventually get in terms of the gimmick is also going to be interesting. There's been some speculation that maybe the gimmick of the region has to do with time travel and different forms of the Pokemon having different abilities or looks or types in these games. That's a possibility. Some other people have pointed to the legendaries and some of the travel aesthetics that seem to be going on in this region, maybe something to do with motorcycles or bikes or traveling on Pokemon. So maybe that could have something to do with these three Pokemon. Maybe for Coco, you travel by land, Quaxley, you travel by air, and Sprigatito, you travel by... Quaxley, you travel by sea, Sprigatito, you travel by land, and Coco. who knows? There's a lot that is to be said for these starters. There's a lot that they could do with them. I really like them. I'm a big fan of all three designs, and I would love to know what you guys think. What's your favorite design of the three? As of now, even though we don't have final evolutions, which starter Pokemon are you leaning towards? Are you going to pick Foycoco? Are you going to pick Quaxley? Or are you going to pick Sprigatito? And generally, what type do you go with for starter Pokemon? Is it a shot in the dark and you pick via design? Or do you have a type that you usually prefer when you play through a Pokemon game for the first time? Let me know down in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed this little video talking about the starter Pokemon, please be sure to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you never miss any more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet videos in the future. And turn that notification bell on so you're alerted as soon as I upload any new videos. With that being said, I've been Linky, and we'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.